What's up guys, it's uh, Fat Leonardo back again with another video, and here we have my week 11 battle against JT. If you want to see what sets I brought and why, you can check out my team builder, it should be the previous one updated, uploaded, so let's get into it. I'm going to challenge JT to the battle, <clears throat> should be a fun one. Uh, JT is, I believe, uh, 4 and 6, I am 7 and 3. And there is actually a goal for this battle. Because of the way his team uh, is built, uh, like because of the mons he has, I decided that this would be a pretty, that I would take a pretty offensive approach to this battle. So the goal is to have this battle one way or another end within 18 turns. <laughs> that is going to be crazy because I think every battle I've had so far has been at least 30. Um... So this is going to be really interesting to see if I can manage to get this to happen. Um, come on, JT. Accept my challenge. JT, accept. <coughs> Alright, so... You know what? I didn't even grab anything to run calcs. Okay, so this um, video might freeze for a little bit while I run calcs, because I'm going to have to do it on my computer. Um because I forgot to grab anything else, but I, I don't anticipate having to run calcs, because I pretty much know every calc that I would need to know. Um, yeah, I, I did everything before the battle, so... Yeah, I should know every calc for every scenario. Alright, alright JT, I hope he brought the team that I expected him to bring. I hope my items are right, I didn't check. Okay, what's he bringing? He's bringing the exact six that I wanted him to bring. Beautiful. All right, let me just write this down. Weavile, uh, Heliolisk, Mega, Venusaur, Alakazam, Gastrodon, and Darmanitan. All right, so I'm going to lead like I said I would with Gothitelle. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. Come on, JT. Show me that Mega Venusaur lead. Show it to me. <clears throat> Show me the Venusaur. Please, JT. Please. This is no joke. I want to see it. I want that Venusaur lead. I'll take Heliolisk too, though. Jonathan is issuing a challenge. Heliolisk. Okay, I'll take it. Um, I assume he's going for Hyper Voice, but he could well go for Volt Switch, and if you watch my team builder, that is why I have Protect. I expect this guy to be Choice Specs. <sighs> yeah, that's reasonable. That makes a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do now is go into my Chopper to get this uh, Lightning Rod boost. Because I assume he's going to be choice specs if he's not. <laughs> if this isn't specs heroes, this is going to be a really hard battle for me to win. Okay, he gives me the lightning rod boost. <clears throat> now he's going into either Gastrodon or Mega Venusaur. So I'm going to go into Gothitelle. I'm going to make this double into Gothitelle. He looks like... I assume this is specs. I assume it's specs and I hope it is. He reveals hyper if he reveals that he's not specs now, I'm going to I don't know, I'm just gonna leave. I switch. I'm one ten, so that makes sense. I I have speed. So yeah, he's so he's not scarfed, I know that much. I mean Okay. Give me show me Venusaur. Show me Venusaur. Yes. Yes. Okay. Venusaur is down, and I get to find out his spread. Or not down necessarily, but I get to find out his spread now. I hope I outspeed. If I don't outspeed, I think I just lose. Um, <laughs> if he hits me with a sleep powder, ah, that's what I have a chesto berry for. So, I plan for this scenario. I expect to take a hit here. Psychic. I want this to be a two hit KO. Oh, he's specially defensive. Ah, that's not good. Uh, Blaziken beats this, but. <clears throat> it's not good for me. I'm gonna go for Psychic again. Hoping he doesn't have Synthesis. 
If he has it, he's gonna have to go for it here. He does. Okay. Um, 18 turn battle. This is not gonna be an 18 turn battle because he was unexpectedly defensive. Now he's probably going for Giga Drain again. <sighs> Crap. And I should have PP Max Psychic. Why is he especially defensive? Oh my god. I can't believe this. Why are you specially defensive? Alright. <clears throat> Blaze can beat this though, that's that's the uh that's a good thing. <sighs> I think he's wondering if he, if to go for psych uh if to go for Crap, why is he especially defensive? If he... Oh! It's a dead Venusaur! That's a dead Venusaur! Alright, so it worked out. I took out Venusaur. Oh my god, that was good. Okay, Mega Venusaur is down. Um, Gothitelle, one kill. <clears throat> okay, so that... Oh god. Yeah. That was a bit of a ah, Darmanitan. Darmanitan to revenge me. He's probably going for U-turn, so I probably have to sack. Um, if I go into Garp here, who's supposed to be my answer to this? I can't take. I can't take U-turn uh, and then switch it again and take a Flare Blitz. This is. Garp is my switch in here in case he goes for Flare Blitz. That's what I hope he does. Um, show me Flare Blitz. Should have gone into. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now we get to see who he wants to have take this on. It could be Heliolisk. If he goes into Heliolisk, serial killer. Alakazam. Um, I live any one hit from this thing, I'm pretty sure, and I can just fire back a mirror coat. What is he trying to do here? Does it matter? No, I'm gonna go into Jack Rackham, um, because it was designed for this. I hope he's going for Psychic here. Put me into cuss that berry range. <sighs> okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. Um. Come on. So I know he's got to kill me now. Um. The good thing is, so I have to spend my Raichu to get him down to. Yeah, I have to spend my Raichu to get him into Sucker Punch range from Gengar. Oh wait, I don't. I may be able to save Chestnut here. How do I not lose here? Um, what does Garp have? Avalanche, Mirror Code, Earthquake, Recover. Okay, well, I'm dead here. I don't doubt that, but I'm going to click Shadow Claw in case he wants to set up further. Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. Alakazam won. Alakazam won. Ah, this is not good. Um, if I sucker punch him, I put him in... Yeah, know what? I have to go into... Running out of answers for Darmanitan. <laughs> ah. Okay, what if I go into... What if I go into Nico Robin and rest on him? I've got him trapped and can click energy ball. Would he kill me at plus one? At that range? No, he probably has shadow ball or something. So I'm going to go into... Chopper. This is my only play. Um, if this doesn't work, I lose. Oh, mind Alakazam. That is clutch. So I'm going to click Endure. Because it's my absolute only play gonna kill me here I expect or drop me to that yeah 
I dropped to 1 HP, and now... Now I click Thunderbolt. If he goes into Gastrodon... Well, at least I know what this Alakazam is. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, he stays in, drops to about... 60%? Oh yeah, Calm... No! Calm Mind increases the... Um, uh, Spadef 2, I completely forgot about that. That's not good. Well, the good thing is he's in range of Gengar, so I'm gonna kill him now. Um, this is not good. <laughs> Sucker Punch. Combine Alex there is actually a problem. So it looks like I'm gonna take him out here. We are at 4 4. It's a pretty quick battle. Um, Alakazam 2 kills. Gengar 1. Goes into Darmanitan to revenge me, Weavell. Okay, I hope I'm not getting pursuit trapped here because I cannot stay in on him. Um, he, okay, so he has Heliolisk, Darm, who Weavell outspeeds Darmanitan, who, um, my only answer for is Avalug. Okay, I have to go into Avalug right now. Hope he doesn't pursue trap me. He doesn't. Okay. Knock off. Alright, I lose my custat berry. If he goes for low kick now, that's a roll to kill. I'm gonna recover and hope that he doesn't have low kick. Oh my god. That's a roll to kill. Oh man. Weavile has one kill. No, now his switch-ins. If I go into Jack Sparrow now, does he expect Vacuum Wave? That is the question. Does he expect Vacuum Wave? Does he expect Vacuum Wave? Because if he expects Vacuum Wave, it goes into Gastrodon. If I set up the sun right here... You know what? No. I'm gonna click back and wave. Um, because... Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Blaziken. One kill. I clicked vacuum wave because at this point Gothita was expendable, so I didn't really... Like, not expendable, but if Gastro came in, Gothita is the only thing... or. Gastro was the only thing that Gothita was for. Darmanitan, again. He could go for Earthquake. A good play to make would be to sack my... Gothita right here. So what does he have? Yeah, so how do I win? I have to beat his... Uh, Darmanitan. That's... The biggest key, I have to have him locked into something that he doesn't want to be locked into and wear him down enough. Or maybe if I get Gengar behind a sub. I lost my chopper um, because I had to, didn't want to do that. Now he has no reason not to Volt Switch, but Jack Sparrow does a tremendous amount of damage. I think I have to make a prediction here. I assume he's going for U-Turn or Earthquake. I don't imagine a Flare Blitz will kill me. <sighs> Alright. Oh, he's going for Earthquake. He has to go for Earthquake. I'm going into I'm going into Doflamingo. If he U-Turns, so be it. If he Flare if he clicks Flare Blitz, I think I just lose. If he clicks Flare Blitz, I just lose. Why? Okay, yeah, I lost. I lost. Uh, Darmanitan won. Yeah, I lost. Why would you flare blitz a blaze again? <sighs> now, my only moves.
Basically, what I need, I can't win. I can't win. This is gonna be a, what looks like it, a one or two zero, but I can't win. Yeah. Vacuum wave. Um, Blaziken has two kills. Oh man. So if I stayed in there and clicked vacuum wave, I think I won. Because I'd kill the Darmanitan. And he would have to revenge me with Heliolisk. So I'd click vacuum wave on that. Or not necessarily. But. In any case, I would have Gengar. Yeah, I. Yeah. yeah. That's what it came down to. It doesn't matter what you go into right now. I lose. If Gothitelle comes in. Hold on a second. There may. There may be a way for me to win. If he goes into Gastro. If he goes into Gastrodon right now, I, I think I win. And I will tell you why if he does go into Gastrodon. Come on, go into Gastrodon. You do not need to risk this crit vacuum wave on the Heliolisk. I think he's calcing to see how much it does, because yeah, it looks like yeah, he's, he's probably gonna go into Heliolisk. Yeah, probably. But if he goes on a gastro, I think I win. And you will see. Okay. I'm still in this game. Reason being, I go into Nico Robin right now. No, I cannot believe this. Please live. Please live this one attack and don't burn me. Don't live this one hit. Skull, don't burn. I this is like I really need this not to burn. Oh, please live the burn. No. Why am I Lumberry? If I was if I was Chesto Berry, I literally won that game right here. Why was I Lum? Why was I Lum? Why was I Lumberry? Oh my god. That is a horrible way to lose a game. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna rest. The rest, I'm pretty sure, gives you three turns of sleep, so it doesn't really matter. It's gonna go for Scald, I assume. I actually won the game if I was. Yeah. God damn it. I click Energy Ball, because I'm not gonna wake up. Man, if I was friggin' Earth Power, it's gonna be a 1 0, unless I get a crit on the Heliolisk. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. I need to check on, sh on Showdown right now. Oh, you know what? Crap! That sucks. That sucks a lot because I was gonna. At 24 HP, I need to. I needed find out right now. At 24, does Gothitelle live burn damage? 24 out of 177, what's that percentage? I'm pretty sure I do. 24 out of 177. I'm an idiot. That's 13%. I'm an idiot. I would have lived on, lived on one. I would have actually lived on one. Now I'm gonna Google if rest gives you max turns of sleep. Does rest... Um, give you max sleep turns. Rest. Um, 
the user will then be asleep for two turns. I'm gonna rest again, actually. Uh, in case I do wake up, I don't. Uh, yeah, I would have lived on one. I'm an idiot. I am a complete idiot. And now my special defense drops, so there's no way I win. I, um. This energy ball has to kill here. I assume he's physically defensive, since Venusaur was specially defensive. They're both specially defensive. That's insane. So, uh, Gastrodon. One kill. It looks like Blaziken's gonna end up with three, but I lost this game because I just... Okay. Let's go for vacuum wave. I'm pretty sure I live the um, live the recoil, and what I need now is a crit uh, on the. Uh... Damn it! Wow, that's so. So the reason I think I would have won is because I um, I'd come in on on the gastrodon, get my. Uh, take all that damage, live the burn, um, click rest, my berry would heal me, he would click, hit me with a scald, do some amount of damage, and then he would have to go for a specs hyper voice, which, you know, I guess it would depend on whether I lived it or not. So I'm clicking vacuum wave here, and I need a crit to win. I know this calc, it does a max of 80% without the crit, and I don't get the crit, so it's like... Damn. Good game to JT. I had a feeling that this, this team build would end in a 1-0, and, oh man, that was, wow, that's disappointing. I need to run the calc on uh, Gothitelle, <sighs> the stream might freeze right now, yeah, it's frozen, um, the video might freeze, yeah, it's frozen, okay, I'm just going to run the calc, and I will tell you if I would have won or not, had his... Had his, uh, if I had the right item. Oh god, this is really bad. Gothitel. Um. Heliolisk. You know what? I it, it probably didn't matter anyway. I probably would have lost. If he's at 50, low 50. Oh, you know what? Great. Great. Yeah, that, that... So basically the damage roll is on Hyper Voice and Thunderbolt, 53 to 63%. So I would have lived it, and I would have clicked Energy Ball, dropped him into, yeah, dropped him into Vacuum Wave range. Yep, okay, so um, that was a horrible way to lose, that was really stupid, I guess I should have checked those items after all. But, um, no oh crap, sorry JT. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next battle.